Hi, Soul Family. Okay, so we didn't go to Idlewild. We stayed here because it's beautiful. It's calmed down. It's not quite so windy. It's very, very clear. Look at that. Only just a couple puffy skies. And look at that. Puffy, puffy clouds. And they're pink. Those are love clouds, right? And the rest is blue. Yay! Okay, so we're going to hope that, with the, that the light holds here. And uh, I'm not feeding you right now, Lily Chicken. She's been sleeping all day. Hold on. So here's me. Oh, I love this song. Have you heard this song? Um, if you are chilly, here, take my sweater. Your head is aching. I'll make it better. Cause I love the way you call me baby. And you take me the way I am. <laughs> okay. I get hung up on the songs. You know I do. Um, so here's me being um, this totally pushover empath. Okay? Here's the empath in me coming out. Um, I'm going to give you guys what something to choose from. And then I'm going to... I'm gonna get rolling because we're probably gonna lose the light, but I'm gonna light our little uh, our little uh, coal oil lamp that I love so much. And let's see, so what shall we work with today? I gotta unplug us again. I keep plugging us in and unplugging us. I probably don't need to plug us in. You know what, I got enough of a charge. And that's a message in itself. Yes, I do. See my awesome necklace that I got up in, up in Boulder Creek at the um, Harvest Festival? So I can layer, it's super cool. Okay. So, let's choose, I love this whole thing, I do. So let's choose the whole, the whole Buddha, right? That whole section. Let's choose this whole peaceful Buddha energy. This is one that you can choose from. This forest scene is the other, right? The angel of the forest and all the pine cone family. That's another. We've got, uh, let's do family situations. I guess we're doing family situations. We've got this is a family situation too, but this is a really interesting family. This family has got people that are in the desert and people that are in the kind of like um, like the forest, the trees area. We'll do this whole section here. So this is like a um, these are the farmers. These, these are the honey bears and the herb farm, right? So this is like the farmer section. Farmer section. Peaceful Buddha section, the forest family section, and we'll do the hippie section all up here. Okay, so I'm going to work with the whole peaceful Buddha section. I like that. And I'm going to work with the whole hippie section because that's who I am and I'm going to rock my stuff. Okay, so then what we'll do is I'll have you guys, I have figured this out hopefully so that I don't have to make a shitload of noise as I show you the messages. Okay, so here I'm gonna tell you the story. Here's me, the empath, right? So the little hummingbird casita I lost, right? I wasn't fast enough on the move and it was gone. And then I found another little casita. I put out my GoFundMe on Facebook and before it even got on Facebook, I had Soul Family donating. You guys freaking rock, you do. I mean, it clearly is an exchange of energy, right? And it's like, and it's never who you expect. Although, Sandy, I did expect you. So I got three donations already, bang, 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 towards my mobile um, traveling unit that I can bring my little chicken so she doesn't have to be left behind. Look at, see, she's eating her grass to help her tummy. Good girl. And then she will promptly go in and throw up on my wool carpet, which is what she does. So I got a donation from Sherilyn Arndt. I got a donation from Janine Cook Sheshire and from Sandy Karasik. So thank you so much. You guys freaking rock. I just wanted to say that. But what was interesting was I find this little casita, right? After I, I found it at the same time that I saw that other little hummingbird. And I was thinking, well, you know, the casita, it's newer, right? It's, uh, it's, it, it doesn't need any work. It's, it's, it's all, 
It just looked like it, it was, you know, I'm laughing about this because it was fiberglass, right? It's fiberglass. It's not old school. I, I heard that in my head. It's not old school, though. I like the old school, you know? I'm kind of old school. But I thought, well, it's fiberglass. I won't have to deal with any wear and tear. It's, it's newer, right? It's got everything all self-contained. Yeah, well, you know what? It's a fake. And it's interesting because our readings are so accurate. And when we get our messages, people want to know how... Like, when do these uh, messages apply? Right now. They don't apply in six months, they apply right now. Like, within the next couple of hours, days, it's very, very, very clear. Because what did we get in this morning's reading? We got B, that when the storm angel was there, it's a clash, clash of, uh, and a collision of beliefs and styles and, and, and ideals and principles, right? And that when the storm angel is there, any lies and deception or manipulation would be uncovered very quickly, right? Nothing would be remain, remain hidden in her energy. Well, it was, it was instant. It was instant because I, I get this um, casita and I'm looking at it here. I'll let you guys look up over here while I'm, oops, sorry. I'll let you look out actually while I'm uh, getting our cards ready. So I am... Um, yeah, my babe's talking to me right now. I know your feelings are hollow. It's a hard pill for you to swallow, but if I fall for you, I'll never recover. Yeah, we know it. So, I look at this little casita. I'm, I'm heartbroken that I lost the hummingbird, and I gotta tell you, it's the truth. When you get a message from Spirit, and they say, you need to act on something or you're gonna lose it, but it's a fact. It was gone. It was gone in hours. I knew it would be. I knew it would be. I saw it late last night, and I knew if I didn't get there right away, it would be gone, and it was. So... Again, the message is, when Spirit tells you to act on something, don't think it's going to be sticking around because it won't. We already got our first note. Oh, it flipped out and it's gone again. Okay, we'll continue. Um, so anyway, I see this next casita and I'm thinking, all right, well, maybe it's because, you know, the other one was older and even in the back of my mind, I would prefer that, right? If, the older ones, you take care of them and you maintain them and you fix them up. They hold their value. The new ones don't. Isn't that interesting? They just don't. It's like my little convertible. My mermaid, right? She was, I still think about her. I had to sell her because I couldn't have two cars, right? And I still think about the fact that um, I had I had a little magnet that I got on my trip up in, um, up in where was I, in Felton? And so I, I'm looking in my car anywhere t to stick it. There's no metal anywhere in that car. It's all plastic. It's a plastic car. It's brand new. New, you know, not no, not as many miles on it. Everything's brand new in it. It's got really cool features, but it's plastic. My mermaid was metal. It was strong. It was. It, it had something to it, right? It had substance. It was old school classic, and it was badass. And if I'd had the money to put into it, to put a new top on it, I should have kept it. My landlord. I'm looking at the Osprey. I couldn't turn him around, but he's the he's back. Right when I said classic. So anyway. Um, that's what I was thinking. I was a little heartbroken thinking, shoot, you know, I really do like the vintage because that little vintage trailer, you know, it's going to hold its value. Whereas this plastic one, yeah, it might be clean and fiberglass and, but it's not going to hold its value. So anyway, I, I see this one and I thought, all right, it's less expensive even. And, and, and maybe that's where I should go. So I write to the person and the person says, writes back to me and says to me, my, I lost you. I got to look at you while I tell you this story. I, the reason I'm selling this is because it was my son's. Uh, he, I lost my son. He's 27 years old. He was killed in a dirt bike accident five months ago, and I can't look at it. It's too upsetting for me. And I was like, wow. And I was thinking about our reading today, right, about how it was talking about the loss of someone and how difficult it is to move on. And, and, and the fact that the osprey showed up, th that was such a message from spirit. And then right before that, somebody said to me, do you believe truly that we are connecting with one's in spirit, and I said, absolutely. I've had proof. I, I didn't, I didn't know to trust it either, and so I asked for proof, and I was given proof. And I know that my twin is not in, in uh, he's not dead, as in spirit in that way, but he connects with me spiritually. And the osprey showed up, but that is a messenger for someone because it's talking about the fact that you are going to be able to dive down deep under your emotional waters, and you will emerge again. So somebody who's dealing with this deep grief, right? It's taking you under, heads underwater. But you're going to emerge. You've got the strength in you, and you've got spirit at your side. And so I, I write to her, back to her, and I said, I hope I don't, I'm, I'm not over, overstepping my bounds, you know, in your boundaries, but I'm a spiritual teacher. This is why I'm looking for, you know, this, this casita. 
and I said, I travel and I go out and I do YouTube videos and I said, I just need something that's safe and, and reliable that I can tow behind my little car and I said, but I've got to tell you what I do is I, I'm a channel, I'm a medium and I said, I, I did a reading today and it was, and I told her basically the whole thing, tears pouring down my face as I'm reading, writing this to her, right? And I said, I hope that you, you can draw some comfort from this and know that your son is absolutely still in spirit and, will, and, and you can communicate with them. We don't lose our loved ones. We, we are connecting with them spiritually. I told how my, my twin soul, I said, I, there's someone that I energetically connect with and he appears to me in different ways. And I said, I know what the spiritual connection and the message to me means. So anyway, I send it all off and I'm bawling my face off. I spent so much time writing back and forth. And then I get an email back. And the person said, thank you, as, as I said in previous email, and I should have caught it, and I did. English was just a little off in a certain things. Uh, I asked for more pictures, and they sent me more pictures. And then in the description, they said, the trailer has 16 feet. And I thought, has 16 feet, or it is 16 feet? Hmm, that was the first. And then they said, as I said, I lost my son um, five months ago, so I need not be present to exchange and so if you would give me your e and what I'm doing is I'm going through eBay buyer protection program doesn't that sound good right and the trailer is will be delivered to you so give me your full name email address phone number blah 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 and I will send that to PayPal let them know that we are I mean the eBay and let them know that you are my buyer right and I thought hmm really so I go and I look up eBay buyer protection program and they said, yes, this is a very, very, um, this is a good thing to do for people who are selling, you know, vehicles, different types of vehicles. However, if you get this offer or somebody trying to say that they're working through us, if you get this from Craigslist or any other source, it's a fraud. It's a red flag. Don't go there. And so I, I sent all of that back to the person and I just said, wow, that was it. So I thought, you know, here I am. I mean, I wasn't connecting energetically with that person. I just felt like, wow, there's a message that I should send on. And, uh, <laughs> you know, here's me just, you know, my heart my heart is so open and, and I just wanted to help, right? And it was like a total joke. So I don't have that casita and I lost the little hummingbird, but there are others. There's a couple others that I'm looking at. My friend Scott's up in LA right now and he's stopping by and looking at one that I that I found and there's another one up in Valley Center and there's another one up in Fallbrook so I have ever, and, and it's true I've got to get the money together before I can go hand it to them so um, I'm still looking and the money won't be gone going to waste I'm keeping it aside believe me I, I appreciate it and I'm just laughing at myself you know they advertise something and it's and it's uh, they plead on your on your good faith and oh well you know it is what it is Okay, so now we got the whole family next door out on the patio having their drinks. Sorry for the noise. Okay, so we're going to start. And for the ones who chose the Happy Peaceful Buddha, which will be me, we're going to work with, I guess we're working with this deck. This is the Animal Tarot, because of course I'm the shaman. I, I mean, I sent that pe person pictures and, and, you know, I sent them the link to the reading. I sent them um, the, uh, the Osprey. I got a picture of the Osprey. I took it off the video when I was talking to you guys today. And it was such a beautiful shot of my Osprey close up. And I sent that and the message for the Osprey. And <laughs> uh, I don't know. Who knows? You know what? You know what? Here's the deal. I have no idea. That person was a shyster, right? But who knows? Maybe there's going to be something that, that, that's going to touch in their heart, you know? The point is, I did my work. I did what I was supposed to do, right? And it doesn't really matter what other people do. And that's kind of what spirits tells us. It really doesn't matter. For, for me and my part, I'll do my work. I'll come from a place of love and light and, and let karma handle the rest, right? <laughs> that person's gonna be handled by karma. Okay, so at how many minutes we have? 14 minute and 21 sec, 27 seconds. This is for the peace of Buddha energy. Four of summer. Now, I'm going to have to do it over like this because the lighting, I mean, we, don't, we haven't quite lost the light yet. Can you guys see that? No. All right, let's see. How do we do this in a different way? It doesn't matter how many times I try and get this correct for you guys. I'm constantly having to reshuffle, and I apologize. It's just 
<laughs> All right. Can you see my little turtle? I don't know why it's so difficult. Maybe I'll just raise it up a square. You can't see it. Why is that? How do I normally do this? That this is such a pain in the ass every time I try and do a reading with you guys. You know, when I don't care, it works. And when I do care, it's a freaking disaster. I don't understand why that is. I don't understand. Show me, universe. Why is that? It's kind of what it is. It's kind of actually the truth of the matter. When you don't care, you get it. When you do care, it takes forever. That's pretty much as good as I can get. I'm sorry. So what we see, I'll just hold it up like that. What the hell? So here you see this little tortoise. Now the tortoise, he's not so little. He's a big guy. These guys live to be about 120 years old. And he's, he's set up pretty good there, isn't he? He's got big fat leafy lettuce. And he's got chunky turnips and carrots. And he's got some nice soil. And he's all fenced in where predators can't get him. He's doing great. Right? This bee over here buzzing around. But he's not venturing out. He's kind of keeping himself stuck in his little environment. He's happy there. He's, we talked about this earlier. I like where I'm at, right? I don't have to venture out too far. I don't have to go beyond my comfort zone. That's kind of what he's saying. And you've got all these responsibilities at home, apparently. This is what you're thinking, right? So you're not noticing what spirit's offering you. So, Spirit wants you to get outside of your garden. Get outside of that little area that you're in. And be open to investigation. <laughs> Investigating opportunities that are here for you. Opportunities that are right in front of you that you may not even be paying attention to because you're just chilling in your yard. <laughs> well, I got a lot of responsibilities here and you know, I'm, I'm taking care of that, right? And when you look at the tortoise, the message is tortoises move slowly. So it's about going slowly. Don't move too quickly because then you'll miss out. I, I don't even want you guys to look at the tortoise. I want you to look out here because we're going to lose the light. So you see what the tortoise looks like. Here it is. Right? There's the fenced in yard. Now just imagine. There he is chilling on his yard. Right? Chilling like a villain. But spirit's saying, okay, Mr. Tortoise, we want you to slow down. We want you, this tortoise is coming to tell you this. He's a wise one, right? He's the master. Look at every part of this situation. Pay attention to the opportunities in front of you. And before you turn stuff down, look at all, look at all angles. There's treasures around that you're not able to see. Not when you're stuck in your own little yard. Now the tortoise, they, where they travel, they go with their home on their back. And that's what they value. Is there peace in your home? Are you happy in your home? Right now. Do you have everything you want? Or is it because you're just too afraid to move out of your little corner of the world? Spirit said there's so many opportunities in front of you. Four means there are angels all around you. You're completely guided, protected, and loved. You, you can always return to this place of safety. But right now, Spirit's saying, get out and explore. Get out and explore. Take a look at what's around you. You don't have to move quickly. There's time to examine the opportunities. And this is a message for me. You know what? You won't miss out on anything. The perfect little trailer will come along. The perfect item will come along, right? Don't rush. Don't rush. Don't sweat it. There's stuff in front of you. There's stuff available to you. But don't be afraid. I wasn't afraid to take the risk, right? The tortoise is like, yeah, you got it nice and comfy here, but there's a lot out there. There's a lot going on in the great big world.
let me throw that little thing away because I don't know why it's not working anymore. It used to work really, really well. I don't know if I have turned it upside down and put it in a different direction or what I've done to this thing, but for some reason, for the last few days, every time I try and use this tripod, it flips over on my desk, it drops on the ground. I mean, it's just like, ugh. Nothing is, is working with this little tripod. So I may just put you guys in here like that and hold the picture up. Because right now it's not working in my house. It's being a bit of a pain. So what we're going to do is we're going to work with, um, that was the first message. But we're going to also ask for a specialized message from these little, the handwritten cards. I just saw them today and I thought, hmm. I think we're supposed to read through these. We're supposed to ask for a couple messages. These can be anything. There are so many things written in here. There's dates, there's times, there's um, affirmations, there's, there's uh, answers, there's all kinds of things in here. And whatever it is that Spirit sends out for us, that's what we need to hear at this time. I trust that. So let me put these down. We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna spread them all out like a big pickup sticks thing. Remember pickup sticks? And whatever it is, it is. We had pickup sticks when we were little. Some of you may not remember that. I'm aging myself, but it is what it is. All right. So for us, this one, passion. Follow your passion. What is your passion? Who is your passion? Where is your passion? Is your passion outside of those gates? Outside of that safe little area that you're in? In order to follow your passion, do you have to venture out? Do you have to take a leap of faith? Do you have to take what you might consider a risk? Because what's life worth living if you don't live with passion in your heart, if you don't follow your passion. If you follow your passion, if you work with your passion, you will be successful. Because when you like something, it matters to you, you put everything into it, right? You're gonna be good at something you're passionate about. Follow your passion in life. We're gonna ask for one more message. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For everybody who chose the beautiful, peaceful Buddha garden area. I love that. I love that whole thing, how that turned out over there. Okay, it's this one. We need to get more information. More information is necessary at this time. So we need to get for more information on whatever it is that you're, you're thinking about doing. So we put these together. Wait, I'm going to ask for one more. I just heard one more. All right, all right, all right, all right. Correct neutrality on all levels. One more. These are hard to shuffle because they're all such different different sizes and shapes. It's getting dark out here. Thank God I have that coal oil lamp. I'm going to get another one. I wish I had kept the one I gave my landlord. <laughs> uh, okay. Correct for neutrality on all levels. People next door have two. I might go go get them. They had them at a garage sale yesterday. I was looking at them, but they're new. See, they were like new and, and shiny, kind of like tin, like this. They didn't. They weren't. They didn't have character like this, right? They, didn't, they weren't older like that. All right. I like something with a little bit of character. I like something with a lot of character, actually. I don't care if you're new and shiny and plastic. That doesn't work for me. I like unique, unusual, and old school. Old school charm. This one. Don't allow kindness to be seen as weakness. Ever. <laughs> good. Good, because clearly that's what I looked like a big mark, right? I was like a big pushover today with my kindness. But hey, but that's the same thing. Okay. So, the message is venture outside of the gates. There's a lot more for you than you're actually allowing yourself to see. Take the time to discover it. Come outside of your comfort zone. Get more information on whatever it is, on, on what's passionate for you. And don't allow kindness to be seen as weakness. Maybe this one, right? I feel like this is who this is. He's a slow mover, but he's kind and he's sweet and he's gentle. 
That's not weakness. That's a sign of strength. We need to get more information on the subject. I'm going to leave these like this for you to look at. You'll understand what this means. Pretty, pretty, for each person it will probably be a little bit different, right? Okay. So then, for those who chose, move these over here. For those who chose the, the gardening area, the gardening area with the herbs and the, the ones that have the desert and the mountains, the honey bear and the, the coyote. And so they've got the desert plains, they've got the mountains and they've, they're just the gardeners. These are my friends the grow up up in the mountains and, and out in the desert, right? And they grow in the herbs. These are the ones of the earth. This encompasses all my soul family, actually, truly. I see Wisconsin, I see the mountains, I see the desert. I see everybody represented right there. So whoever chose that section, we're going to go to the shapeshifters for you guys. The farmers. The cultivators of their garden. The nurturers of their garden. How do you cultivate your garden, right? Are you nurturing your garden? Direct neutrality on all levels. song right now is making me laugh. It's Aunt Charlie Pooh, right? I'm going to tell them all. That's just the way I am. And it's like somebody that's actually very sweet and very kind and very gentle and doesn't speak up for themselves. And that's why I think it's funny. He's like, maybe I am a little insecure. Maybe I am a little bit shy. Maybe I'm, and I'm just going to tell them all. And you know what? He really probably doesn't because he's actually too shy to do so. <laughs> Have you heard that song? I'm just going to tell them. You can love me or hate me, but that's just the way I am. It's like he's got a really good thought in there, right? He really has good intentions, but he hasn't quite gotten to the place where he's told them that yet. Okay, here we go. At 26 minutes and 47 seconds. For those who chose the gardeners. The time has come. Oh, what did the osprey say? Okay. We're going to have to turn it in a direction where you can see it in the light. Light's going quickly now. The time has come. The time to act is now. <laughs> Weren't we shown that? And here she is, this Mayan princess holding on to this dragon. Two and three is five. A significant change in your life is occurring. Always for the better. Good idea to call upon spirit for help with these changes. So what is it? that you are hesitating on? What is it that you're putting off? Because the time is now. She's got her lapis lazuli earrings. Mmm. The colors are beautiful. She's got the colors of the peacock feathers. She's got blue and turquoise. Teal. So the time have come. Time. It's not me just beating it to death, right? You guys probably think, well, it's because she, just, she wants something to happen. No. Here it is, Spirit again, saying the time has come. When are we supposed to act? Now. She's the timekeeper. This is like the Mayan calendar, the Mayan princess, right? The Mayan calendar ended <laughs> and we moved into the love generation. So this is definitely a shifting now. There's a new reality that we've stepped into. The time, time for us to embrace our soul's path. It's now, it's the time to move forward and be strong and be brave. So if you're asking, when should I do this? When will this happen? When, when should this occur? Now. Right? You've been maybe looking over maps, contemplating the right times, asking the stars for times and dates, wondering when, are you, when you should act, wondering when things are going to unfold. And you've been wondering about, you've been using that. You've been using that to delay and to procrastinate, right? Oh, it'll happen at the right time because you're afraid of the changes that are going to happen. Because there's things that are going to fall away and things that are going to transform. We are in the time of prophecy right now. We are in this time period. We have been told of this time period. You know it's time for you to move. But you've been delaying. So are you going to allow your consciousness to shift? And even though others may disagree with you, and even though you have fear, people that will tell you that you're wrong, are you going to move away from that? Are you going to stop the fight? right? Even the ones that are in opposition, it could be your own mind. Are you going to reach for what your soul has been calling for? Because the time is now. That's all you need to know. There's so much that we all have to accomplish, but we have to make the choice to deliberately move forward. That's what I said, you know, here you are. 
I'm safe here. It's comfortable here. I've got everything I need here. Yeah, but you aren't growing. You need to venture on beyond the comforts of this and go into something that, that you have not experienced before. Your soul is calling for you. It's not just calling for you to go and explore. It's calling for you to share what you've learned. Embrace this newness. And it's about when? Now. Don't wait another second. Song right now because of you. I never strayed too far from the sidewalk. Because of you, I learned to play on the safe side of the road. Because of you, I learned to not let anyone else in. I don't know how to let anyone else in because of you. Well, it's time for you to break that. You know what? You can't lay back on what your mom and dad did or what you grew up with. We get a choice every single day. There are people that have been abused and they grow up to be abusers of other people. And there are people that have been abused and they grow up to be rescuers of the abusers. Right? There are people who, every situation that somebody has been in, they've been able to either do something with it or take a needle and shove it in their arm or grab a bottle and drink themselves sick or eat themselves to death or commit suicide. You got a choice. Are you going to lay down and die? Are you going to be in the in the mire of all your past regret and 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 blame or are you going to get up and do something about it and make something out of your life because you know what I'm not being a hard ass I've had a lot of shit happen in my life and I could turn around and hurt other people I could say I'm not going to trust ever again I could I'm not going to open my heart I'm not going to put my heart on the line I'm going to treat women like objects if I'm a guy I'm going to treat a guy like he doesn't count because you know what I've just been fucked over left right and center so why would I even bother Right? Because I'm not going to choose to do that because I'm not your victim. I'm not their victim. Nobody is a victim unless they choose to be. So stop being a martyr and move on. Take care of your life. Go out there and go after what is yours. Stop blaming the past and keeping yourself stuck. What do we have to say from the little messages? Just stop making excuses. It's getting old, you know? It's getting old. We've been hearing it. I've been hearing it. I hear it a lot from so many people. And it's like, you know what? Stop whining. There are times to be sweet and gentle and loving and soft. And then there are times, oh my God, look at your card that flipped out. Then there are times to take action and do something about changing your circumstances. If you don't like the circumstances, do something about it. You need to do something about it and make it better. That flipped out. That's amazing. What else do you want us to say? What else, Spirit, do you have to say? You know, I they use me back and forth, up and down. One minute I'm this sweet, you know, giving these loving, nurturing messages. But then it's like sometimes, you know what, you just get too comfortable, you know? And you just don't ever move forward. And you need to have the freaking rub rip, ripped out from underneath you. I've had that happen, right? You are busting free. <laughs> right on. Oh, look, you got more than one. And you're on the right path to do so. You're busting free. You're not a martyr. You're not a victim. You know the time is now. It's time for you. You're busting free and you're on the right path. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Okay. For those who chose... I can't believe how quickly the light goes away. Isn't that amazing? Um, for those who chose... Let's see. We had the peaceful Buddha, we had the farming fields, we have the forest family down here. Okay, the forest family. <laughs> it's getting dark in the forest. When you go out in the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. When you go out in the woods today, you won't believe your eyes. Cause every bear that ever there was has gathered there together because this evening we're going to have a picnic. <laughs> My mom used to sing me that. Okay, we're going to the Oracle of Shadows and Light. I can hear Sandy going, yay! Okay, who else did we choose from? Oh, we chose the hippies. We're last. The hippies were last. So we're going to the forest, pe forest people. I love the forest people too, though. I love all of them. I love everybody. You know, just because I have to give the tough messages sometimes doesn't mean I don't love everybody. 
I'm gonna light some candles because it's getting a little dark. Hold on. <laughs> Song right now. Is it okay that I said all that? Is it too soon to do all this? I know I know things are delicate. <laughs> no, it's not too soon. This time is now, spirit says, right? All right, let's get some light on the matter. Ooh, yeah. There we go. All righty. I think my friend Scott's probably trying to get a hold of me. He's up here and he's like, and I've got my phone on silent because I are on do not disturb while I do my readings because I don't want to be disturbed. And I'm sure he's like, where are you? Okay, there we got some brightness. I'm going to look like a ghoul though with all the, <laughs> right? All right, so for shadows and light, here we go. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the forest family. At 35 minutes and 55 seconds. Your message is, whoa. Okay, this is intriguing. Fairy of the Divine Hand. Intoxication, distorted view, overindulgence. Okay, so here you see these three eyes. I don't trust these three eyes, the gold eyes. I trust the blue eye, and there's one, and it's in your hand. That's the all-seeing eye. You're not looking with the correct, uh, the correct vision. You're being led by the crows that were dive bombing the hawk. So. When you look at that message right there, when that sound kind of sign comes forward, that's the divine hand of God. Oh, you guys, two cards were in the deck. They were they were held aside, but that's okay. Those are the ones we had earlier today. So, so what we see here is whatever's going on in your life, this is God coming up to say no. So right now, you might be urged by friends or even ones who say that they love you to do something. It might even be your own, your own self that has this addictive tendency. You know how the, the peer pressure situation happens, right? Oh, just have one drink. No, you're an alcoholic. You don't do well with that. Oh, it's okay, just have one drink and drive home. No, it's not. Maybe you're judging other people. Maybe you're gossiping. Maybe someone's gossiping and you're engaging in that. Whatever it is, Maybe you're being mean to yourself. Maybe you're telling yourself that you're ugly or that you're not worthy or you don't deserve something. You're judging yourself, being harsh. Whatever it is that's not good for you, it's something that you, are, you have a tendency to do. It's easy for you to do it. And Spirit's saying, don't. Don't ignore the divine hand of God coming up. There's some kind of an addictive tendency that you have and, and you're giving it your power. It might be that it's easier for you to just go along, right? It's easier for me to go along. I'm, I'm, I'm not good at really kind of, you know, stepping out and rocking the boat. Well, you don't have to rock the boat, but you definitely should stand up for yourself and speak your own truth, right? Yeah, but these guys are, you don't, I mean, they, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a timid person and these guys are really, you don't understand what those guys are like. No, you don't understand clearly that they are nothing that you have spirit on your side and you're being guided right now by spirit you're coming here to listen to your message but right now what's going on is you're being tempted to something something that you're being blinded to something that you're being told it won't hurt it's not that bad it's harmless fun but look at it don't sugarcoat what it is what is it are you tempted to lie about something are you tempted to go and have an affair with somebody? Are you tempted to, I don't know, whatever it is, if you keep moving down that path, you're going to be in trouble because spirit's saying right now, your intuition, that blue eye blinking is saying, hello, I'm giving you a clear warning. A red flag has just gone up. Are you going to heed this warning? You need to stop. You need to look and you need to listen before you move forward in any way right now. There's a temptation somehow in front of you, something that's being offered to you. 
behaving in a way that's disrespectful of yourself, compromising your own integrity, compromising your own standards and what you truly actually want. Whatever that, or maybe you're angry. Oh, pay attention to this. Because maybe somebody's being just evil, rotten, horrible. And you're tempted to just rip their face off and let them have it, right? They're, they're calling it in. But, but something might come out of your mouth that you can't take back, right? So don't do it. Don't, don't do it. It's better to, to, to walk away. And don't be angry when spirit brings you messages that you don't want to hear. And right now, you don't need to be afraid of whatever this is that's in front of you. You just need to stop and look at it. What's going on? Get quiet. Because right now, one of your fiercest addictions is seeking you out. And you are teetering. You're teeter-tottering. And you could easily flip. And this isn't the opportunity that you're thinking. This isn't something either, either that you should be terrified of. This is giving you the opportunity to stand in your, in your own personal strength. And say, you know what? I'm not going to do this. Nope. I'm not. I know who I am. I know what I stand for. I know where I'm going. I know what I want. And if I were to do this, it would undo everything that I have worked for. And I'm not going to do it. No matter how many of my friends are there with me. No matter how hot that guy is. No matter how cute that girl is. No matter how tempting it is. That's a married man. That's a married woman. That person's engaged. Don't do something to be accepted by a group of other people and then walk away and feel bad about yourself. I want to find out. I want to go to the, to the little messages and see if there's something specific they can give us. Because, I mean, this isn't something that I chose, and, and yet there is something for everybody in every message, I believe. So I am curious, what is this? What is the fiercest addiction that's seeking me out? Right now, I mean, I can't even think. <laughs> And, and you know what? It might happen in a couple of days. It might happen in a couple hours. It might happen as soon as I get off this reading. Whoa. So this one fell. You are a great listener. You are a great listener. So maybe somebody is going to say something to us about somebody else. And you have to say, you know what? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that. I'm not, I'm not listening. You are a great listener. Someone may be saying something to you that they shouldn't about somebody. And you're going to have to stand up and speak. Correct for neutrality on all levels. What else do you have to say? Whoa. Okay, they're throwing things at me right now. Treat yourself to what you want. You deserve it. Okay. So if your fiercest addiction is seeking you out, treat yourself to what you deserve, to what you want. You deserve it. So maybe there is somebody that's an addiction or the, maybe your addiction is giving of yourself and giving up something that you want in order for, and to let someone else have it. Maybe that's what it is. You don't give yourself what you deserve. Maybe that's your addiction to be the martyr, to be the one that, that doesn't doesn't go after what you want because others don't want you to or they want something so treat yourself to what you want you deserve it you're a great listener listen to what your higher self is telling you right now spirit's saying no don't you think this is interesting this is saying no overindulgence intoxication temptation this is saying you're a great listener and treat yourself to what you want so is that your worry that you don't allow yourself to have what you deserve that you think that you have to work your ass off for it, that, you, that you're not worthy of it, maybe that's your addiction. Maybe your addiction is you speak badly about yourself. You tell yourself you don't deserve it. Be grateful for what you have and more will come. What is your addiction? Overanalyzing? Perfect timing. God, there's one more. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to shuffle these because I'm getting there's more. So, your fiercest addiction is seeking you out. Stop. Do not proceed. 
You are a great listener. You're listening to spirit right now. You're not listening to these ones. These ones that are encouraging something negative. And that could be your own fear, right? You're a great listener. Maybe you're listening to your own self saying, no, no, you don't deserve it. I'm not worthy of it. I'm not good enough for that. They're too good for me. Or I don't, or I can't afford that. Or I don't know. Be grateful for what you have. More will come. Perfect timing. Okay, so give us the message. Is there something else that can clarify this? And sometimes I don't know because this isn't, this isn't for me. And you'll look at that and you'll be like, I know what it is. Okay, within the next few weeks. You're a great listener. You're listening to spirit. You're not going to engage in whatever this is. You're going to give yourself what you deserve, what you want, because you know that you deserve it. You are grateful for what you have, and more is coming towards you. It's coming in the perfect timing. It's actually coming within the next few weeks. Stop putting on a front, or somebody else is putting on a front. Your greatest addiction is seeking you out to pretend, to hide. It's the perfect timing within the next few weeks. What is something else? Something's happening within the next few weeks. Somebody's putting on a front. That's the, that's the addiction. Don't believe that. Someone's lying. They're not telling the truth. Is that you? I'm going to leave this. You guys have to figure this out because I, it's not me. I don't lie. I don't know what the addiction is. I now know I deserve song right now wake me up when it's all over and for our last message this is the whole hippie section for those who chose the hippie section i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna mix the shadows and light and the shapeshifters together it's gonna take me forever to separate them but i'm gonna mix them together because i like both of these decks and whoever chose that message i mean that grouping the hippies we're gonna get a mixture in one in and whatever comes from here, the shapeshifters and the hippies. That's interesting. I'm the hippie. My twin's a shapeshifter. All right. Correct neutrality on all levels. One more? All right. One more. Gosh, it smells good. These candles smell good. Correct for neutrality on all levels. All right. At 47 minutes and 24 seconds. Shapeshifters win. <laughs> okay, how can I do this so that you guys can see the light? Brother Raccoon, a safe place for you to go. I love that raccoon. He reminds me of Liger. Number four, again, the angels are watching over you. You're completely guided, protected, and loved. This little princess tiger lily is holding on to that raccoon. There will be a safe place for you to go. So right now, maybe you're not feeling safe. The song right now, wake me up when it's all over. You think about that song. That, that, have you guys seen the video to that? There's this little girl and her sister and people think they're strange. They're not like everybody else. They're not welcome there. They feel bad there. And she goes out and she finds people like her. And she goes back and she says, let's go. And she, her little sister says, where are we going? And she says, we're going to where we belong. Basically going home, right? To soul family. Because sometimes it isn't your birth family. Sometimes it's soul family. But right now, you see this little, that little raccoon looks a little bit nervous, doesn't he? The raccoons, they, you know, they're undercover. <laughs> They're little bandits. They wear their little masks, right? They're under the radar. So right now, maybe that's what you're supposed to do is kind of stay undercover, work with camouflage. Hmm. Stay in a better place. You got to remain safe. Don't reveal who you are or what you're doing or what your ideas are. Maybe you've got a project that needs to be kept under wraps. You've got some plan and then, and then you give it, you tell somebody about it and it leaks its energy. It does. It kind of leaks its energy. And then sometimes people take what's yours. And they and it was your idea. So they're asking you to go quietly about your business right now. 
And you don't have to show every detail of everything that's going on. You don't have to tell everybody everything. Sometimes you have to hide or camouflage or mask yourself in order to find out true intentions from someone. Now, I'm getting, I can hear right now somebody saying, see, I wasn't doing anything bad. I was just trying to find out what's going on. You don't realize what's going on. I know, I'm getting from spirit for quite a while. Things aren't as they appear. And sometimes that's what has to happen. Sometimes you're in a situation where you have to keep things quiet. You have to go underground. You have to keep it safe for a while. So right now, this is my message. I've got to keep some knowledge to myself. If there's something that we're going to be working on, if we're going to get an idea, we're going to keep it quiet. And it's not necessarily so much always that it's a scary place or that someone's going to take something from you, but it does, it leaks its energy out. It's almost like you've got to hold on to it until it manifests. But somebody could take what's yours. Also, you need your energy right now. Something needs your attention. Don't give it away to anyone else. Keep it close to you. Whatever it is, whatever this is that's about to come to you or what you're thinking about, it's going to be it's exciting. And it isn't for everyone to know. So don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. If something is about to come into your life or an idea or something, keep it under the radar. You're being smart to do this right now. Spirit's guiding you to do this. Right now, and if you're worried about where to go or how you're going to handle yourself, you're going to have the perfect place to hide out, a place to be safe. And it's not going to be forever. You may have to go away for a little while. You may have to keep things quiet. And other people don't need to know what you're doing. They don't need to know every single move we make. Even if it's family. Sometimes maybe maybe that's the addiction. You know, feeling that, like you have to tell everybody what your plan is. You know, like they deserve to know everything about you. Just because it's your mom or your dad or your brother or your best friend doesn't mean that they have to know everything that you plan on doing. And sometimes people feel guilty or bad. You know, when people go off and, and, and get, um, you see this in movies a lot. God, why don't you just work with me here? Um, if somebody wants to go off and, and elope, I don't want to have a big wedding. Maybe people don't even ap approve of who you want to be with. Your friends don't, but you do, right? So you, you go off and you get married and then your kids are all pissed off because you got married and you didn't tell them. You know what? I don't have to tell you everything. <laughs> Or your family or your brother. It's my life. I can do what I choose to do. Whatever this is right now, Spirit is saying, this is your advice from Spirit. Keep it to the ground. Keep it quiet. Keep it safe. It's not going to be forever. When you come back out, you're going to be strong. You're going to be entering back into the, into the beam of light. And you won't have to hide anymore. But right now, they're talking to me. This is interesting. Okay, I want to know what the little messages are. That's a trip. But I don't know what this is, but you know, something must be coming. I'm heeding the advice right now, song right now. Um, now you want me. Who do you think you are? Running around leaving scars. Collecting your jar of hearts. And tearing love apart. You're going to catch a cold from the ice within your soul. You didn't want me. You didn't want me. But now you do. Right? Don't come back for me. Don't come back at all. And this is interesting. Because look at the message that comes. Forgive me. I hear you're asking all around for wherever I can be found. Forgive me. But I've grown too strong to ever run back into your arms. I learned to live half a life. And now you want me one more time. Who do you think you are? Running around breaking hearts. 
collecting your jar of hearts. Interesting. Tearing love apart. You're going to catch a cold from the ice within your soul. Don't come back for me. Don't come back at all. I feel as though this one that's been hiding has been really, really hurt. It took so long just to feel all right again. Remembered how to put the light back in my eyes. I wish that I could miss the first time we kissed. You broke all of your promises and now you want me back? Don't, you don't get to get me back. Maybe this is your fiercest addiction seeking you out. Somebody who treated you like shit, who stabbed you in the back. And they're asking for forgiveness. You've been hiding. Interesting. I know. I've watched lies and deception and manipulation and by the ones that you trusted. I wondered how long it would take before spirit made it known. But remember earlier today when the storm angel came forward, all lies and deception and manipulation were going to be found out. Things were going to be uncovered. So this person singing is speaking about this. This one who's gone, who's hidden, is the one that was hurt. I don't think someone's saying, forgive me, to that person. I think this person is saying, forgive me, that I believe them, that I trusted that. We'll see. Financial issues. Correct neutrality. Something must have gone wrong in my brain. All the chemicals up in my head. All the highs and lows, feeling all the pain. Fear of commitment. Now I'm seeing red, not thinking straight. Blurring all the lines, you intoxicate me. like nicotine touching me you're all I need it's you babe I'm a sucker for the way you move babe I could try to run but it would be useless there you go so you ran there was a fear of commitment. Forgive me. The answer is yes. There will be a peaceful resolution. I am sorry. Everybody has a message here. There's going to be a safe place to go. There's going to be a place that you are going to feel like you're going to go undercover for a while. Get quiet. You're going to keep some of your plans to yourself. Because there's been manipulation and lies. People that couldn't be trusted. It caused financial issues. There was a fear of commitment. You're being asked, someone's asking for forgiveness. Spirit says, yes, there will be a peaceful resolution. But the sorry needs to be said. Look at this. Forgive me. Sorry. Financial issues. Fear of commitment. Yes. I was worried about money. I was afraid of committing. It's you, babe. I'm a sucker for the way that you move, babe. I could try to run, but it would be useless. Because it's you. I'm sorry. Or. Or what? Whatever this is, something's going to be kept quiet. 
Something is going to be kept under your hat. Something you're not going to share with others. Either it, they can't be trusted. You don't want to leak the energy. You want to keep it to yourself because it's that good. And someone's asking for forgiveness. They are sorry. Yes, they are truly sorry. Spirit says there will be a peaceful resolution. There absolutely was a fear of commitment and financial issues. But the song, I'm a sucker. It's you, babe. I could try to run, but it would be useless. And so you're being told, you are safe. There is a safe place for you to go, little raccoon. You don't have to hide out. You don't have to be the masked bandit, right? You're being loved. There are angels all around you. You're being completely guided, protected, and loved. There is no reason for fear. So at one hour and 28 minutes, we're to wrap, and I feel like, <laughs> like this should be Halloween or something. Whoa. Okay, you guys. If anybody would like help with dream analysis, with long distance Reiki healing, with a private reading of your own, my website is www.theangelswhisper.com. My email address is sherrycolumbus at yahoo.com. If you would like to contact me, I get my emails immediately sent to my phone. <sighs> I can't get over how quickly the light went away. Hold on. Song. Waiting on the world for change. There's a message in this. We keep waiting on the world to change. Remember that? You're just waiting, waiting, and Spirit says stop waiting. Stop procrastinating. We are the change. You're waiting on the world to change? You gotta change the world. Hard to beat the system when you're standing at the distance because you keep waiting, waiting on the world to change. Yeah, it's hard to beat the system when you don't do anything about it. If we had the power to bring our neighbors home from war, they'd never miss a Christmas. No more letters on their door. When you trust the television, what you get is what you got. When they own the information, they can bend it all they want. And that is what I'm getting with this message. That is what's happened here. Somebody took information and they twisted it. They lied and they manipulated and it caused all these issues. But right now, Spirit says the this is a safe place. Let go of your fear of commitment. Let go of your financial worries because Spirit will handle you. You've got the number four left, right, and center, which is angels all around you. You will have a peaceful resolution. You need to say you're sorry. You will be forgiven. All right, you guys. Peace, love, and light. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this.